Hi, this is Dr. Tanya Nijhavan from Udana Wellness. I'm a cosmetic and aesthetic dentist. Today, I will be discussing wisdom teeth or our third molars. Now, wisdom teeth usually erupt in the age of late teens or early 20s. In today's day, do not have as much of a function as they had earlier. Our scientists from around the world have been very fascinated by these. You know, because earlier our ancestors, if I take you back thousands of years, they had larger jaws, their food and their diet was more fibrous and hard. They used to have a lot of meat. But today, as times have changed, our diets have evolved, wisdom teeth do not have much of a function. In fact, they're more problematic as it's very hard to reach uh, that area of our mouth with a toothbrush. So we see a lot of decay, cavities, infections, inflammation around that. Uh, they are mostly malaligned because there's not enough place in our jaw for them. And that causes pressure on the teeth in front of them, infections, if they are tilted buccally, which is towards our cheek, uh, they could uh, cause infection and swelling around there. Now, what is the treatment? So if your wisdom teeth are troubling you and uh, there's infection in that area, uh, the best treatment is extraction. Now, most of these extractions can be done under local anesthesia, but very in a few cases, we might need general anesthesia also. Um, a few complications that could occur could be delayed healing, more swelling than usual, as they are a, lo a lot of times embedded in the bone. Uh, there could be a dry socket, which again means very delayed healing. Uh, apart from that, our inferior alveolar nerve, which is a nerve which is in our mandible, our lower jaw, passes very closely with these teeth. So it could get damaged during the extraction or surgery. So one, uh, of course, needs to be very careful. And uh, I would recommend uh, you to go to a dental surgeon for uh, these extractions if they are embedded in the bone. Thank you.